For years, speculation and anticipation have surrounded the development of the United States' sixth-generation fighter jet under the Next Generation Air Dominance Program. While much of the public discourse has been shaped by early concepts and artist renderings, the actual direction of the program has been far more dynamic evolving in secrecy, adapting to changing threats, and leveraging breakthrough technologies. But in early 2025, a major shift occurred that brought the program into clearer focus and revealed its profound implications for the future of aerial combat. Boeing's Big Break, a historic milestone. March 2025 marked a turning point for aviation and defense enthusiasts. President Donald Trump, alongside Secretary of Defense P. Pegseth and U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin, officially confirmed that Boeing had secured the engineering and manufacturing development contract for the Next Generation Air Dominance Program. This victory signified Boeing's first major U.S. Air Force fighter win in decades excluding the fighters it inherited from its acquisition of McDonnell Douglas in 1997. But perhaps even more notable was the reveal of the fighter's official designation. F-47. This name is more than just a number, it's steeped in symbolism. It nods to the legendary P-47 Thunderbolt of World War II fame, while also referencing 1947, the year the U.S. Air Force became an independent military branch. Intriguingly, the number 47 also ties to the current U.S. President, marking a unique branding moment in military history. The changing face of air dominance. Originally, the Next Generation Air Dominance Program aimed to create a direct successor to the F-22 Raptor, a high-performance, stealthy, standalone fighter capable of dominating enemy airspace alone. But as the strategic landscape evolved, so too did the vision for next-generation air dominance. Today's battlefield is more complex, more networked, and far more dangerous. New threats, particularly from China, include advanced stealth fighters and hypersonic long-range missiles capable of striking aircraft on the ground before they even lift off. Facing such adversaries, the concept of a single, all-powerful fighter has been abandoned in favor of a family of systems, a collaborative approach where different aircraft, drones, and even space-based assets work in tandem. From superjet to super coordinator, rather than trying to load every capability into the F-47 itself, the U.S. Air Force has embraced modularity and specialization. Many sensors and functions that once had to be on board of fighter jet raiders, electronic warfare suites, infrared tracking systems will now be distributed among other platforms, especially collaborative combat aircraft. These semi-autonomous drones will support the F-47 by flying closer to danger zones, gathering real-time data, and relaying critical targeting information. This not only improves the fighter's situational awareness, but also increases survivability, since the manned aircraft can remain farther from the enemy's most dangerous air defenses. In other words, the F-47 won't just be a frontline brawler, it will be a command and control hub, directing a high-tech aerial ballet of manned and unmanned platforms. The rise of the collaborative combat aircraft. The U.S. Air Force is expected to acquire between 100 to 150 collaborative combat aircraft initially, with eventual goals to field over 1,000 units. These drones are expected to cost between $20.5 and $27.5 million apiece, relatively affordable compared to manned fighters, and will form the backbone of future air dominance missions. This strategic shift means the F-47 doesn't need to carry as many weapons or sensors as past fighters. Instead, it can be leaner, stealthier, and more survivable, with collaborative combat aircraft handling reconnaissance, jamming, and even strike missions. Critics may argue that such reliance on unmanned systems limits the F-47's standalone capabilities, but proponents believe the advantages of distributed sensing and cooperative engagement far outweigh the drawbacks. Drones can fly closer to enemy targets, share data in real time, and help triangulate enemy positions with unparalleled precision. Rethinking the arsenal. While the F-47 won't carry an overwhelming arsenal, it will still be armed for combat. Internal bays are expected to house at least four AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missile or AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile Long Range Air-to-Air Missiles, AIM-9X Sidewinders, or Small Diameter Bombs. More importantly, larger, Heavier munitions will be outsourced to long-range platforms such as the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber, F-15 EX Eagle II, and even legacy aircraft like the B-52 Stratofortress. These aircraft, operating from safer zones, can launch weapons upon the command of the forward-positioned F-47, 
which acts as a tactical director. This new arrangement emphasizes networked warfare over brute force, enabling deep strikes with minimized risk to human pilots, combat radius and range. General David Alvin recently revealed that the F-47 will boast a combat radius exceeding 1,000 nautical miles, a significant upgrade over the F-35C's 615 nautical mile range. This extended reach is critical in the vast expanse of the Pacific theater, where U.S. and Allied airbases are few and far between. However, this range estimate comes with a caveat. The U.S. Air Force is also investing heavily in the next-generation air refueling system, a future fleet of stealthy tankers set to debut by 2040. Should these tankers become operational in time, the need for such a large combat radius could diminish, potentially allowing for a smaller and lighter F-47 design. In either case, aerial refueling compatibility is already in the works, with Boeing's MQ-25 Stingray drone tanker project likely to play a key role. What will the F-47 look like? If there's one thing that seems certain about the F-47, it's stealth. The aircraft is expected to exhibit advanced broadband low observability, allowing it to operate near or even within sophisticated enemy air defense networks. Concept art released so far often depicts tailless, blended wing body designs a departure from traditional fighter silhouettes. However, Air Force officials cautioned that these visuals may be deliberate misdirections meant to confuse adversaries. Don't be surprised if some design elements, like canards, never make it to the final aircraft. The actual airframe may differ significantly from what the public has seen. Man versus unmanned debate. Despite initial speculation that next-generation air dominance could be unmanned, the F-47 will definitely be piloted. This decision is rooted in the reality that autonomous systems still face reliability and ethical challenges, particularly when it comes to life or death decision-making. Experts like Bill Sweetman of Aviation Week and Justin Bronk of the Royal United Services Institute emphasize that while AI has its place, humans are still the best option for high-stakes combat roles. Communication failures, misjudgments, or cyber interference could render a fully autonomous fighter vulnerable. Yes, piloted aircraft are more expensive and require extensive training, but until AI achieves near-perfect reliability, the Air Force seems unwilling to gamble with lives or missions. A power plant revolution. Another major innovation lies under the hood. The F-47 will be powered by adaptive cycle engines, a revolutionary technology currently being developed by Pratt and & Whitney and General Electric. These engines can dynamically alter the bypass ratio during flight, optimizing for fuel efficiency during cruising and maximum performance during combat. This dual capability allows the F-47 to loiter in stealth mode when needed and still hit speeds of Mach 2 or higher when action calls. Additionally, these power plants generate a significant amount of electrical power, paving the way for future energy-intensive weapons, such as airborne combat lasers, which could see deployment by the 2030s. The F-47, not just a fighter, but a strategy. The F-47 is not merely a replacement for the F-22. It is the embodiment of a new doctrine. In a world where enemy sensors, drones, and missiles are growing smarter and faster, the U.S. Air Force is betting on collaboration, adaptability, and connectivity. This sixth-generation jet is being designed for a battlefield where information is as powerful as firepower. With a network of CCAs, stealth bombers, space-based assets, and future tankers working together, the F-47 will not fight alone. Instead, it will orchestrate the most complex air combat symphony ever imagined. The next chapter in air superiority. As the next generation air dominance program moves from concept to reality, it signals more than a technological leap, it's a philosophical shift. The age of the lone ace pilot dominating the skies in a superjet is fading. In its place, we're witnessing the rise of distributed, intelligent, and team-based air combat. With Boeing at the helm and a modular, scalable design philosophy, the F-47 represents the dawn of a new air power era. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast, a defense analyst, or just someone fascinated by cutting-edge tech, one thing is clear, the sky is no longer the limit, it's the battlefield of the future. Thanks for watching. If you found this deep dive into the F-47 and the future of sixth-generation air combat as fascinating as we did, make sure to hit that like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the skies.